Praise God, my dear friends. Good morning, wherever you are. Beautiful morning. God is good, and I'm sure He is good to you. In the month of October, we were talking about, my dear friends, grounded in the Word, grounded in the Word. And today, my dear friends, I'm from Zephaniah 317. Because today, my dear friends, I'm talking about a radical physical expression. A radical physical expression. Because there are moments in your life you have to be radical in the expression of who God is to you. You have to be radical in expression of the God you serve. You have to be radical in how you praise him. You have to be radical in how you express your love to him, your goodness, your thanksgiving um, to him, you know, how you exalt him. There comes a point in your life where you have to be radical in the expression of who God is because God is radical in his expression of who you are to him. Zephaniah 317 says, But the Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exalt over you with joy. He'll be he will be quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. God rejoicing over you with shouts of joy is God himself being radical in his physical expression of who you are to him and how much he values you. There has to be a moment when you are radical in expression of who God is. Radical in your praise that this morning you can lift up your voice and choose to say, to praise God. You can just to clap, to shout, to sing, to dance. To be radical, to celebrate in the victorious God who is in your midst. The Bible says that God is in your midst a victorious warrior. When a victorious warrior is next to you, you celebrate. You celebrate because of what they are capable of doing and what they have done before. My dear friends, today I'm praying that you may have a radical expression, a radical physical expression to celebrate the victorious God that is with you in the battle you're facing today. But you may express the goodness of God over your life and don't be ashamed to testify that you serve a mighty God, you serve a powerful God, you serve a great God, but you won't be ashamed to declare to the world who your God is and to the mountains before you about your victorious warrior. Let us pray. I thank you, Father, for your goodness and your faithfulness, Lord. May your power and your spirit rest upon us. You are victorious, Father, in all your ways. And I speak victory over your sons and daughters. I speak victory over every area of their lives. May victory overflow. And Father, I pray, may you give us the courage to celebrate you, Lord, radically. To celebrate you in public. To celebrate you, Lord, before our enemies, before uh, those who are for us. May we have the strength to celebrate you, Lord, because you are victorious and mighty in, in our midst. And we are truly more than conquerors through you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, and bless you. In Jesus' name, bring thanksgiving. Amen. Do stay blessed, my dear friends. I do believe I'll see you again next time, same time. Stay blessed.